I've seen Trini apply her products like this. <laughs> Hi and welcome to another free Willis webisode. Today I have a somewhat of a quite exciting uh, show for you. Show, hmm, pretentious. I'm going to talk about the Trini London Stack Makeup and I find this quite exciting. It's quite a, a brand new brand, quite recent and the all the theories and all the concept behind it is really interesting. So I think this is going to be quite nice. Keep in mind that this is going to be quite a hefty overview, so it's going to be a long video for sure. Uh, the light keeps changing because clouds and my neighbour is home, so she probably might want to start listening to loud music uh, in the near future, so keep that in mind. But if you want to know my thoughts and have a little bit of a glimpse into the Trini London stacks, just keep on watching. Now, Trini London was created by Trini Woodall, and if you are around my age or a bit younger, I think you will remember, even in Portugal, there was the What Not To Wear British edition, and uh, Trini and Susanna were the stylists and uh, the consultants, basically, that created the transformations that uh, we saw on the show, and it was really interesting. I love that kind of, of show. I'm still a Stacey and Clinton fan also. Trini then continued to be sort of a style and beauty advisor and to travel the world, uh, talking to people about how to do some makeovers and transformations and giving advice on style, uh, beauty, skincare, makeup, all of that jazz. And uh, she made a career out of it. And she has a very active Facebook page in which she does almost every day lives from her bathroom doing her skincare. She does interviews on her bathroom to very interesting people. She's a very lively, bubbly, intense person. It's a kind of energy that not everybody relates to. I really love her. And she had a really interesting podcast with Emma Guns at the Emma Gunn Show. So go and have a listen because it's really interesting. I really loved her insight. And basically she said that from all her traveling she had to carry all her makeup around and um, she was always mixing stuff to get her perfect finish, you know, and she decided to bite the bullet and three years ago she started uh, her brand Trini London to which we have access now. And the concept behind this brand is really interesting. This is basically a full face of makeup, except for, I would say, eyeliner, lip liner, mascara, and brows. Everything else can be in a stack like this. It's a very nifty concept. Everything is cream or cream to powder formulated, except for one product that is more skincare that comes in a tube with a pump, but we'll get there. But the main thing overall is that you can get all of your makeup in one stack. All these little little pots, you can separate them from each other. You can do your makeup at home and then just bring with you what you need for the day. Retouch throughout the day. It's a really on-the-go, very dynamic concept. And it's more, of course, since it's all creams, um, it's more veered towards people who don't mind using their fingers, although you can use brushes with the with these products, but they're meant to be used with your fingers, be very simple, to slap them on, minimal blending, and you're good to go. And it's all also a bit more meant for people with less coverage needs, you know? It's very, very interesting, and everything is very customizable. You can go from a barely their makeup and no makeup at all and a bit of gloss on your lips to a full face and everything from their range of products. This brand is available online only at trinilondon.com and the price range is high-end, I would say. It starts with the most expensive product which is a skincare and an SPF in one. This is the BFF and it costs £35 for 30 mils. And then the products within the stacks are all four grams of product and they vary depending on what product we're talking about. So the eyeshadows are 18 uh, pounds, the lip glows which are lip glosses are 16 or lip balms are 16 pounds, the lip lux products are 22 pounds, are, those are as far as I know the more opaque lipsticks. Then you have the blushes for 20 pounds. Lip to cheek is a hybrid product that you can apply 
on your lips and on your cheeks for £25 face colour so that means the uh, contour, highlighter and bronzer all of those retail uh, also for £25 foundation for 28 when it comes to calcul calculating how much would one pot last if you would wear it every single day they say that basically all the face products uh, will last you about six months of daily wear and then the lipsticks uh, the lip locks and lip glows will last you uh, three or four months and the eyeshadows will last you a bit longer for nine months I think they're uh, calculating that you don't use the same eyeshadow every day I don't usually mention packaging on my videos and my reviews just because I think that what matters is that again, the packaging is functional and protects the product and dispenses the product as it should but uh, I also think that all the money should be on the product and when I um, evaluate or review a product is is this product worth the amount of money they're asking for it instead of is this pretty enough to be bought but there is a lot of thought putting in put into the packaging of this product and it starts with the packaging that uh, brings it to your home so they deliver it in a normal cardboard box that says Trini, Bo Trini London on the outside and then you get a beautiful magnetized a white box with a yellow lining which is gorgeous everything looks, looks really minimal and flawless and chic and then inside you get a free um, makeup pouch which is plastic it's uh, transparent so I think that it would be really good for traveling uh, check-in bag I would say and then inside you get your products and the stacks come in a beautiful case a uh, silver case that has again the yellow details and it has a little uh, ribbon that you pull to take each um, jar off each one comes individually packed in a silver box the boxes have uh, minimal instructions in them but it's really really pretty and then the actual packaging of the products are these little uh, pots that are actually stackable. It's not magnetic, it's, it's just clickable. And um, it's, it's pretty, it's uh, a decent plastic, so it's not flimsy at all, but it's not chunky or heavy. And it closes fine, and they stack really easily, and it's not too bulky to carry this in your handbag for instance so and for traveling this is <laughs> amazingly uh well thought uh so yeah and that concern i think the thought put into this specific product because it has a different concept is worth mentioning and it's it's pretty well made the only thing is the stacks you can sort of rotate the product and sometimes i don't know if i'm opening the lids other than that, everything feels really nice and I never noticed this opening up and spilling all over my bag. So, good. If you've noticed changes on the lighting, I forgot one light and now it's uh, on. But <laughs> when it comes to the website, the website is really easy to navigate, really simple. You have access both to the um, Match To Me program, which I'll talk about in a minute, and also the individual products, They're, they explain everything on there, they give you the ingredients which is really nice. The service is really fast, I don't get things easily delivered here in Portugal, it, it takes weeks for things to arrive here. But the My Trini London order got here in a little bit over a week, which is amazing for Portuguese standards, okay? So yeah. I, I believe that they will be really quick in your country too. They have worldwide de delivery and if you spend over £50 you have free shipping in the UK. If you spend over £100 you get free shipping to the EU. Now let's talk about the shade range and the foundations. These are the Just A Touch foundation or and it's a foundation and concealer hybrid actually. They come like this. They have 14 shades. Four of them are quite dark, deep shades, as far as I can tell uh, from the website. And I think it's a 
fairly good range since this is a small brand. This does not have a millionaire <laughs> backing it up or a millionaire umbrella brand backing it up. They don't have a big celebrity behind it, anything like that. So I think it's a good launch. They have said they will expand the range, which is great news. I would have been happier if they had 15 shades so that you had five of each sort of tone, light, medium and dark, instead of five light, five medium, four dark. That's just the only thing, but it's minimal, I would say, regarding the whole thing of being a new launch, a new brand, and it's a small, small brand. And also, they say that each shade, is, if you wear it more blended, will accommodate uh, three skin tones. It is a bit more elastic if you use less coverage. Of course, if you're going for higher coverage, this will not work in that way. Just let's be honest. Regarding the shades, matching yourself online for a foundation, I mean, you, you, you may go through a hard time, but they have a very nifty little program on their website called The Match To Me, and you just fill in a small questionnaire which has a few questions about your hair color, your eye color, what is your assessment of your skin color, and how does your skin react to the scun, scun, sun, which is really nice. And then from then on, they give you a, a couple of suggestions, I think three suggestions, of three different um, foundations, and they give you videos of people wearing those foundations and talking about their skins and how they react to the scun, the, the, the scun, what's my problem? How they react to the sun, and then, and so on, and from that, you can visually, and also by the information that those people are giving you, really assess quite easily what foundation color is yours or is the one that you prefer, although, again, they are elastic, so you can go a little bit on the verges of the of each foundation so it's really nice I got a really quite nice match a little bit light for me but I'm lighter in the winter so I decided to to go on the safe side this is Trintron in case you're wondering the questionnaire is quite comprehensive but it's not time-consuming or overwhelming and they give you a quite good precise match. After you've done your match for your foundation, you will get uh, suggestions for each product that you look into in terms of color. So the best colors for your skin tone in eyeshadows, uh, bronzer, uh, blushes and lips. But you can always access the whole shade range if you, if you click the See All tab, I think, which is right next to it. So it's, it's really easy. They streamline it for you, but you have easy access to the whole range, which is nice, especially in terms of eyeshadows, I would say. Let's talk about the products. There's a lot to talk about. The first thing, I will insert images of me uh, applying the products and I'll let you know what was my uh, thought process. The first thing is the BFF cream. This is a skin perfecter with SPF of 30. Mine is in medium. And this basically is a cream, a white cream, but when you massage it onto the skin, it starts to have a little bit of a color. It's a bit like some CC creams uh, from uh, Asian brands that have a little bit of a tint to them, but it's barely there. This has skincare properties, antioxidants, it's hydrating without being oily, and it has your SPF embedded in it, so that's why it's your BFF. And for people who have no skin concerns, I think this would be a one-stop shop because it gives a little bit of an evening out of your skin that you can't really put your finger on, but it happens. I don't find, find this to be too heavy, or too oily or anything. It really melts into the skin, sinks in quickly. The only thing I would say is, depending on your skincare, the skincare that you have applied before, when you go and apply this, sometimes you feel like it's going to start to pill. I don't know why, so uh, if you feel that, just press the product in instead of rubbing it onto your face. And they give you an extra pot for you to put a little bit of this and carry with you to reapply SPF Brilliant, Trini. Brilliant. When it comes to the foundation, you know I'm the foundation crazy person. 
I have to give you a disclaimer, my skin is at that point where I'm just falling into pieces from my retinols. Uh, I'm at that high point, that peak point of shedding. <laughs> Nothing just looks right on my skin right now. Just keep that in mind. The foundation is a pot. Some people compare this to the um, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which is interesting. Yes, I can notice the similarities, but actually I feel that the NARS one melts into the skin a bit more easily, so it's slightly more emollient. And that's the first thing. Uh, this product is less creamy than I was anticipating. It's not a good, a good or a bad thing, it's just how it is. Because of that, I have to let you know that I live, um, my house is really cold, this room is extremely cold, and my hands are always cold. And I felt a bit of a difficulty at first to apply this product and blend it in because my hands were so cold it wouldn't melt into the skin. So keep that in mind. But once uh, this is accommodated to your skin, it really blends easily. Uh, it doesn't give you a lot of coverage. So I mean, uh, if you have deep dark circles, redness, rosacea, acne, I mean, this will not cover it. It has quite a big a bit of pigment, but it melts into the skin. I would say it's a nice light to medium coverage. Now, when it comes to its performance, this, in my opinion, sort of mimics or just sits on the skin as it is. If your skin is dry, it will look dry. If your skin is oily, it will look more shiny. But it tends to cling on to the dry patches on my skin. That being said, it's really easy to touch up, but you will see that it will start to enhance the dry patches after a while. This fades with dignity, which means that it doesn't leave any patchy, blotchy, weird, um, separated <laughs> areas. Uh, but it is not very long lasting. This is meant to be reapplied throughout the day. When it comes to creasing, um, I don't notice a lot of creasing on my under eye area. I think it perform performs really well there, but on my laugh lines, it does sit inside the laugh line, so it is a bit noticeable. Now, the next product is the Lip to Cheek product. This is a hybrid that uh, is meant to be used on your lips and on your cheeks, of course, and this is one, this is that product that I thought would be a lot more creamy than it is. This is a, almost a cream to powder formula verging on the powder side of things. And what I felt was that it lacked a bit of a slip to it to mix it on my cheeks, uh, so it felt like it was going to skip. Uh, I patted it on and it always felt like it was patching up and it, it was a little less easy to blend out than I was expecting. And in terms of long lasting ability, on my cheeks, I applied a shit ton of product and it's barely there anymore. It's been a few hours, just, it doesn't, it is not very long lasting. On my lips, as you can see, it creates sort of a stain. If you apply it with your fingers, you don't have a very precise um, definition. I would totally advise using a lip liner with this, which I haven't today, so that I could show you. If you have any texture on your lips, because this is a cream to powder, it will emphasize that uh, that bit of texture. And the thing that I felt with this, because I have these little fine lines, vertical fine lines uh, along my lips, I felt that this increased the appearance of lack of definition on my lips, instead of helping to uh, disguise it. Maybe for a younger skin and plumper lips like Trini's, this will look beautifully. For me, I wasn't wowed by it. The next product are the eyeshadows and they, these have the texture that I thought that the lip to cheek product would have because these are far more creamy or slippery, I don't know. Um, they're very easy to apply, very easy to build. Um, 
they feel really nice on the eyes, not heavy at all. They don't look patchy. My big problem with both of these, so it's common to the two products that I have, is that um, these start to crease almost immediately on my eyes. And I've tried it today with um, primer on my left eye, so you're right, and uh, no primer on the other one, and it creased on both. A lot less on the primed eye, but still there's creasing. The last product is the, 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 the uh, face finish. This is a mattifying balm, so it's a sort of a creamy product that feels slippery when you touch it, but then it starts to, feel, starts to feel like powder. It's really mysterious in that sense. And this is meant to be applied on the areas that start to look shiny throughout the day. It's really nice. If you have in intense oiliness, this is not going to cut it. You will need a bit of powder. But for slight touch-ups, if you're one of those people that are more on the normal uh, side of skins, <laughs> You will, I think, thoroughly enjoy it. Overall, what are my thoughts? I think this, and I took the chance knowingly when I uh, bought this, this is for people with normal skin, normal to slightly oily skin, I would say. People who are on the go, who are fuss-free, who are more into the natural and light coverage side of things. Final thoughts. I think this is for someone who has very normal to slightly oily skin. For nobody in the extremes, I think this will work. If you're on the go, if you're fuss free, if you like to work with your fingers, if you need to top up on the go, this is amazing in that sense. When it comes to the price, you can get caught up in the stack mentality. If you want to buy the whole stack, it will come out as very expensive. Uh, but if you think of when was the last time you went to a Sephora and bought a foundation, a blusher, a couple of eyeshadows and a blotting powder and um, an SPF all at once, when was the last time you went in there and you bought a full range of makeup? You didn't, probably. So <laughs> just keep that in mind and if you're thinking of building your stack, um, just build it slowly, trying to take advantage of the free shipping, but in the U, it's not really easy to do that. Products I would not purchase, for sure the eyeshadows, terribly sad about that, but they did not work for me, and I doubt these will work for people other than those who have extremely uh, dry lids. And the uh, lip to cheek, I don't know, it's supposed to replace the blusher and the lipstick from their range, so it's a bit more expensive than either of those, but more affordable than both of them combined, but it doesn't excel at neither. It's a nice stain, It's it feels amazing with a lip gloss or a lip balm underneath, but I don't know, uh, I wasn't in love. When it comes to the other products, I love the BFF, um, I really like the foundation, my skin is not liking anything uh, at the moment. Uh, I like the blotting balm, the, uh, what's your name, face finish, so it was 50-50 in my opinion, I'm so sorry I didn't buy the bronzer and the highlighter and the contour instead of the eyeshadows, but, and even a gloss, but anyway, <laughs> That's life. Uh, if you have tried this product, let me know down below. I want to know everything and as usual, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for staying there till the end. You're a winner if you have and uh, um, thank you for spending your time on me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!